So let's talk about Walnut Creek and Pleasant Hill. So Walnut Creek has been sizzling right along on low inventory uh, over the last two years. Price points reached a recent high of $1.8 million across the board, but we have been seeing some cooling. Uh, we've been seeing a cooling trend over the period, but we are still in a very strong seller's market. Uh, a wave of inventory would certainly change the market sentiment moving forward. The market has been in a plateau for almost two years now. We have not seen significant changes to the upside or the downside at these new interest rate levels. Uh, and this has been mostly based on low inventory. Uh, we have not seen the kind of inventory needed to change the market sentiment. Many sellers are locked into their sub 4.5% interest rates and many with considerable equity, but not enough equity to get them to the next price point, uh, at least locally. For sellers that are looking to move out of the area, the opportunities is wonderful because most areas of the country do not have median price uh, median priced homes in the stratosphere like Walnut Creek is fortunate enough to have. The townhouse market has been hovering about $500,000, but the that is off the highs of $600,000 a few years back. And this is based mostly on interest rates and the fact that the uh, homeowners association dues are having an impact on the buyer's uh, ability to afford those prices. The one thing that has changed in the single family home segment is the market times are beginning to creep up. We have seen the market times move from 21 days up to 54 days, but a lot of this may have to do with the fact that we have a new holiday season starting in, uh, at Juneteenth and going through the July 4th holiday. Since buyers in the price segment that's over a million three generally have four to six week vacations, it is still encompassed the month of July as being the weak center point uh, of the market sandwiched between uh, May and June and the late season in August and September. In the next couple of reports, I do expect to see the market times trickle back down a little bit as the July inventory uh, begins to pick up and as buyers re-enter the market in August uh, to give the market that late season push. But the, the fourth quarter is very likely to be fairly soft considering one, the election, uh, two, economic news going into the election, and three, a possible change after the election, uh, depending on who ultimately wins. Even in spite of increased market times the, in Walnut Creek, we are still seeing huge, we are still in a strong seller's market. That has not changed. We're still seeing multiple offers in many places all the way through the month of July. It remains to be seen if the market sentiment will change based on the flash crash that we had this week and the subsequent quick recovery, uh, if that will have a lasting impact on buyers' minds to pull some buyers out of the market. At least in the short term, the buyers that had a tough mental mindset in order to continue on today may have saved themselves ten dollars or $20,000 on their properties, but it was probably a one-week sale. We know that the market's recovered. We're going to be through this weekend and... I guarantee the open houses this weekend are going to be slow because people are just going to be mentally checked out based on uh, the roller coaster that they've been on this week. I do expect things to start to normalize by next weekend, and we'll have to watch how the rest of August goes. I, I don't expect any major changes, but you know, sentiment is the only thing that we have right now for uh, that could could affect supply and demand imbalance in this area. Pleasant Hill has always been an odd bird. And when it comes to real estate, they've been run contrary, but the fundamental economics uh, that I mentioned in the last video are that Pleasant Hill is now the benefactor of increased, uh, increased buyer activity as a result of buyers being priced out of the 24, Highway 24 corridor. With prices in Lafayette now approaching $3 million, $2.5 million, uh, as, uh, with a $2 million median price, if you're looking for a million dollar home and you don't want to be too far away from your job that's in Oakland or San Francisco, Pleasant Hill suddenly becomes a very desirable opportunity due to its easy access to BART 
as well as easy access to Highway 24 and Highway 680. The Pleasant Hill condo and townhouse markets still suffer from extreme shortages in inventory. The inventory in Walnut Creek and Pleasant Hill, or the inventory in Pleasant Hill is still lower than surrounding communities. It is on par with Lafayette in terms of lack of inventory and would have to quadruple in order to get to pre-COVID levels of inventory, which will ensure that the Pleasant Hill uh, market remains excessively strong and probably the strongest part of the uh, sub two million dollar price point moving it forward at least through the end of 2024. In the next couple of reports I do expect to see the market times trickle back down a little bit as the July inventory uh, begins to pick up and as buyers re-enter the market in August uh, to give the market that late season push but the, the fourth quarter is very likely to be fairly soft considering one the election uh, two economic news going into the election, and three, a possible change after the election, uh, depending on who ultimately wins. I've been putting out there with my buyers and sellers that uh, the two possible develop there's two possible options on what the real estate market will look like in 2025. One is with the current administration who has been managing a soft landing or what they've been calling a soft landing and those policies will continue uh, into the midterm elections in 2026. Uh, we can expect interest rates to remain relatively stable, slow moving and to respond to whatever the real economic conditions show. And depending on which way it goes, will have an impact on our market more so than any other factor, including an increase in inventory. You can double the inventory in Walnut Creek and Pleasant Hill, and you will still be at 50% below its highs uh, pre-COVID, which means that uh, there's a long way to go before we will see anything like a correction in the Bay Area. Every year that goes by, with more homes selling, more people making the transition, uh, the more likely it is that we're going to run into a more normal market eventually. I don't expect any radical change all the way into 2026. Conversely, if the Republicans take the White House, it is said that Jamie, J, Jamie Dimon at J.P. Morgan will be one of the lead, down, uh, lead candidates to head the Fed. Lately, Chase has put out information that interest rates should be at 8%, and this will have a direct impact on the real estate market as well as economic conditions and inflation. Given 8% given numbers at the federal funds rate, we'll be looking at 10 to 12% real estate prices. We'll be back in the days 1980 when we're doing wraps, hybrid loans, and such while the economy retransitions it to itself into something else. And that, again, will happen in 2026, where we'll be in a brand new world of real estate, and we'll be talking about something completely different on these blogs. Even with the increase in interest rates, it's very hard to see that there would be a spike in inventory, but it's quite possible that, these, that those interest rates will slow the market down enough that increasing inventory will be a big factor in the value of the homes and what buyers are willing to pay for those homes. Well, thank you very much for checking me out. Looks like I'm out of battery power, so I'm going to cut this sucker short, uh, even though I have a little bit more to say on this. But appreciate you giving me some time. Thank you for watching. Bob George, you, Remax Accord. Uh, we'll look forward to talking to you again here shortly. We will see you in escrow, and have a great week.